Oh, Toon Towers, how I have missed you, and how I'm looking forward to doing some work on you today. First things first, though, if we're going to be working around here today, I need some flying anvils to entertain me. That's not enough anvils. More anvils. More anvils! And loading up anvil launcher number one. Excellent. Number two. Number three. Can we get four in there? I think I can get four in there. Pick up. Ooh! Oh, is it working? <laughs> I love these things. We have four anvils in the in the launcher picator here. Look at it going. Up. Oh, shoots out the gun up top. Hold on. Where, where is it? Where is it? We want to go and see. There it is. There it is. <laughs> it's so amazing. Oh, this thing makes me so happy. Okay, so that's one. Shooting the anvils over there. It goes down there, pops out there, comes up a bubble, a bubble elevator here, and shoots back out the cannon. Infinite cycle. We got another one over here. I think this one we made more recently. I think it's oh, oh. Okay, much better, I think. Th this this one is a little bit sketchier, I think. Launch. Excellent. We're only gonna do two on this one. Ah, here it comes looping back. There we go. There we go. Flying anvils everywhere. There goes one. Here goes another one. I wish you could, I wish you could actually get hit by anvils as they're flying by. That would be amazing. Now, the first thing I want to take a look at today is the iron farm because, well, check it out. Look, right? This is where I store my, my iron blocks. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, we're basically almost out of iron now. It's getting dangerously low here, right? I mean, I've only got three or four, five double chests of iron blocks. I'm starting to get the shakes. Uh, I mean, this, this, this is getting real. Got a little bit of iron over here that needs to be crafted up into blocks and stuff, but we got to turn the iron farm back on. It has been off for months now. Hmm, what's the... I don't even know the best way to get into this stupid farm anymore ever since I closed it all up. Uh, if I go down here and maybe... Can we, can we just break this? Sure, that looks safe. I think. Uh, let's see. What, what's, oh, I missed. Let's see what's inside here. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're in the iron farm where the golems die. And I think there's a golem in here somewhere that's stuck on a wall. I see you. Uh, please die. Die now. Thank you. Okay. Pick up his biddies, and hopefully that's the only one now. All the villagers are doing work now. I just need to turn the system, the redstone, back on that pops the villagers up every once in a while. Which I believe is right up here. There it is. We'll flick that guy. Now, eventually, these guys should pop up, scare the villagers, and we should make it a iron goal. So there we go. There we go. Look at them all. <laughs> There's like a whole batch of them. I think we just had like 15 iron golems just spawn right there. So we got to make sure this is working here. I want to make sure that these guys go through the whole process, make sure they're being uh, refined for their resources correctly, swooping up into that other building over there, getting killed by ravagers. I want to make sure everything's working fine. Now, in a few seconds, we should see some golems go up this glass elevator up to the top and meet their... Oh, did the one already go up there? Oh, that was the anvil. Oh, there goes one over there. There goes two over there. They're going, they're going, they're going. Okay, now they should meet their happy fun time right here. Everything's still working great, just the way we like it. Okay, let's make sure the iron is actually processing and coming through to the storage. Here it goes, going through the pipes and into a bulk storage. Okay, that's good. Iron farm back in commission. So the next thing I want to look into is the gunpowder because I've been making a lot of rockets here recently, and uh, the, the sugar cane, the sugar cane's coming in fine. I've got some uh, some bits stored in here that zombies apparently keep dying in skeletons somewhere. I don't know where where that's happening, but the sugar cane is coming in fine. It's the gunpowder I'm actually running out of now. I had the farm turned off for a while, and I recently turned it back on, and you can see the creepers. The creepers are flying out right now. I'm not in the proper AFK spot, but they're coming out. They're they're, they're doing what creepers need to do best. They're sizzling. They're, they're landing on my face. Hi, Creeper. And you can see we got the gunpowder going through all the crazy tubes all the way over, hopping up right there. But look what I found. Look what I found. Don't sizzle on me. I found where... Wait for it. Flying is hard sometimes. Right here, right? 
The gunpowder is... Where is it? It's swooping up right here. Go on, come on. Fly, fly up. Look at the rates on that thing. Man, that thing is cranking right now. I get nobody's on right now. So, um, look, right there. That. That is a problem, okay? The gunpowder is it's popping up here, and I had to break a log here or a, a brick here because it was getting stuck on this. But now it's getting... It, it, it doesn't even have enough oomph. It's coming out of the tube there, and it's just... Eh, I, I am tired, gunpowder, and it can't even make it over there. So... I don't know what changed. Something should look right there. Uh, how embarrassing. Wait, come on, gunpowder. Get slid. So, yeah, I don't know what changed. Did they change something with the friction of ice or the way things move or something? I have no idea. Uh, all right, how are we going to do this here? We got to blah, 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 blah. Let's see. I'm going to put a block. We're going to break. You do that. Gah, look at those super amazing reflexes of something. Okay, let's break this. And now we need to move, and now we just need to move the water source back there, and now the gunpowder, look, look at all that gunpowder, woo! Okay, here comes the next batch now, and it should, oh, oh, it's like, it looks like it kind of makes it, so far so good, it looks like it's kind of hitting and then stopping though, I, it, it's going in, I, I guess we're good, now the question is though, is, is it going everywhere else, is it, is it going through the rest of the tubes? Oh no. Come on, why, why, why did this change? Why is that getting shot so much farther than it did before? Oh, I see you there. Did you want to come give me a hug? You're so nice, thank you. So I guess we'll just break that and call it a day. I'm really like just weirded out by why they would have changed ice friction pop properties randomly. I, I don't even know what's happening. Okay, and up. And oh, <sighs> and here we go, and up, and over, and you're good, and you're down, and you're flowing, and you're shooting up and in, and you're going in the thing, right? You're going in the thing now? Yes, finally! So that was a nice little trip down memory lane, going through some of the original farms, the iron farm and the creeper farm. I made those like... What seems like years ago, but if I don't know if you noticed, check this out. This island here, I finally finished, and I all uh, concreteificated it. It's all it's all primed and ready to go, and it's part of my landscape and everything. It just needs trees. We got this one here, which I've made progress on. This one over here, I haven't touched yet, but I'm still thinking I might want to put like a like a, a building or something, something, something going on over on this side. So I'm not sure yet. Um, but my goal for right now, I want to finish this island off and get some of these amazing little uh, cartoony Lorax trees from there and sprinkle them all around here. Maybe put in some of our little. Uh, you guys remember our little. Our little facade bushes, our little cartoon bushes here with a little stand in the back. I love these things. They're great. Yeah, let's uh, let's get this island all done done right. And there we go. There we go. It's been all treeified everywhere. We got a variety of trees in the in the Lorax style from the movie Lorax. I really like these little puffy trees. Um, copied all the ones from over there. Added little uh, end rods below there for the little dangly bits and stuff. I think it's pretty good. We got a nice little variety of colors here. Basically, just keeping keeping the plan of what was going on over there. I think I might want to add like a bridge or something it might be fun like a little bridge to skadoodle across right here or something i'm not sure i'm not sure what a cartoon bridge would look like or how it would fit in but i like this area now and it is like 95 98 percent spawn proof now that i got the little bushes in underneath each one of these little bushes here we have a uh you know, a couple glowstone there, and it keeps it keeps the spawn rates down. So yeah, as I'm building this, I get a message from Mumbo, and it's like, hey man, I, I built a little Odia thing. You guys know Mumbo's got his Odia shop. I, I, might, I might be pronouncing that wrong. His Odia shop, where he's got like pre-made configuration things that you can buy, and it gives you all the recipes. Hello, Happy Golem. I see you up there. Enjoy your ride. Anyway, the message was like, hey, I built a little thing over where the original piston door was. I was like, oh, that's amazing. I was just about to cover that up and, and try to put a new door in there myself. And I came over here to see the new door. Hi, cow. Anyway, uh, uh, Mumbo? Mum Mumbo, the... Nope. No, hi, hi, hi. Enjoy. So, there's no door here. There's no door here. And I messaged him. I said, Mumbo, what are you, what are you talking about? There's no, nothing changed there. And then he went full spoon. And he's like, oh, I might have done the wrong door. <laughs> so, not only did he not fix the original door, he added a new door to my already existing door. So, now my door has a door. And I, I think, look, 
Just think of all the times I'll want to come right in here. <laughs> this, this, I mean, I mean, thanks. Mumbo is totally where I wanted my my cold door two by two one nine three. Oh, does the Odea box come with goodies in it? Let's see. No. Oh, all right. So he just built me something that I uh, totally needed, and now I gotta pay him. I think. Congratulations, you. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been chosen for the Odea Build Now a Pay Later scheme. As you can see, a glorious Odea kit has been constructed in your base, and now you need to pay for it. Head over to Odea's store to deposit your diamonds promptly. Oh, I hate this, and I love it at the same time. All right, he deserves my money. Swoop in over here, and uh, what's this? Read me. Uh, okay, I will read you. Welcome to our day's episode. Here's how it works. Enter the store through the door. Browse the display units. Take note of the product number and name of any you like. Once you decide on what you'd like to enter, uh, find the uh, contains all the components you want, including the building blocks. Uh, pay what you owe in the payments chest. Okay. Go to the website, odia.store. Navigate to your specific build to watch. Does he really have a website? Welcome to this video tutorial. In this oh, one, this we're going great. to be building I'm a this, I'm watching this lock. video. <laughs> For this, we're going to need a 3x4 <laughs> area, and all of the resources like can be found in too. the shulker box you have purchased. Okay, this is amazing. I gotta put the I gotta put this book back though. Okay. Um uh, okay. I can't believe he's got a website. Where do I go? Where's the uh where's the where's my where's my cove door? Cove door. Oh, this looks like it. Are you yeah, two by two cove door. Alright, how do I how do I pay? How do I how does the does the floor model work? The floor model works. Okay. Uh alright, I see diamonds. I see diamonds. What three by three cove door. Hey, cove door! This is me. Um Do I do I do I eh? Eh, eh, eh. No, okay. I, I kind of expected those to get sucked up there. Uh, Mumbo, how do I pay you? There it is. There it is. Super secret. He doesn't want to get paid, apparently. Okay, I owe this chap six diamonds for his fine two by two door at my base that I didn't ask for. Okay, as per usual, we need to head over uh, to Decked Out because there's some updates and stuff I gotta show you guys about what's going on here. Things have been working out real good. So the first thing I want to show you is we've added two new sets to Decked Out because the number of players is growing, and when that happens, I have to add more sets, otherwise the competition for individual pieces just gets too tight. So we added the Snowman set, which is a derpy snowman face for the unique, a carrot for the rare, a snowman block for the uncommon, and a stick for the common I love that that just the snowman head is so great and then we added a baker set which is a pumpkin pie for the unique some cocoa beans a furnace and a piece of bread so we got two new sets in there which you've probably already seen in other videos and I think I think that's about all the sets I'm probably gonna add I originally like wanted to add more per player but I think I think it's going pretty good I want the competition to be pretty tight by far the biggest thing I've done is I finally went through and and went through all of my compass drop-off stations and I made it so that I can put multiple loot box tokens in each one and multiple compasses can be bound. Basically, I just saved myself tons and tons of time and I went ahead and loaded the system with, I think it was like 102 compasses. There's probably still, still loads of compasses in here. Yeah, look at all these compasses. Well, those are empty and quick. All those compasses and all these and all these hoppers are actually bound to real loot tokens in the dungeon now. So I essentially don't need to touch this at all. I even went so far as down here, I made like a whole nother shuffler and everything so that when I bind the new, uh, when I bind the new compasses and stuff, I could just throw them all on the shuffle cater here and then like put another shulker here and load it up. Basically, tons and tons of compasses are now loaded into the system and I don't need to add more every day. So it is a good thing and saving me a ton of time. I've had an auction running for quite some time now. I, I say daily auctions. That's pretty much a dirty lie. They, these auctions run three days or so. This one here, I, I put up a one wild card for any rare and uh, it's time to award this to the winner. So I come down here and I look for any boxes that are lit up. Oh, there's one. Cubby cub, looks like Cub's got a, uh, this is Cub? Yeah, that's Cub. What did he bid? Cub, cub bid 16. This is, I think this is Hypno 25. I think that's Hypno. I got to double check. 25 on that one. This one here, I believe is Etho. Oh, <laughs> Etho turning in the B set. 
Okay. Oh, wow. That's going to make things interesting. All right. Ether only bid five. He's losing that. It looks like Hypno is going to win. Hip I think. If that's Hypno? Yes. Yes, it is Hypno. Now, let's see. Does he need a rare? Probably a common, uncommon. And I got... Okay. He needs... He needs a lot more, but here we go. Wild, any rare. Congrats, Hypno on winning the auction. And here we have the updated score now. Bam, Cub and Etho tied for the lead, breaking away with four each. Hypno and Impulse with two, and then ZF, False, and Corrales each have one. I still want more, more scoring, more scoring. Now what's making me so, so happy is the pet system is working out fantastic. Now for those of you who don't remember the last episode, we introduced Ravager pets, where basically the hermits can acquire. They can find them in the dungeon, they can buy them right here. Decked out Ravager tags. You take that tag into the dungeon and you name a Ravager in the dungeon, like, you know, Tango's Beast or Ethos Beast or whatever, after you, and then if that beast kills someone, in the dungeon, you get a free key. And I've already awarded one, one to Joe, I think, and one to Etho. But I know a lot of people have been dying to named bees, and I gotta check the logs to see where we're at. This should be good. Okay, I have the compiled results since the Ravager pet system was introduced. And like I said, Joe Hills and Etho, I've already given them both an individual key uh, for the first two kills there by Etho and ZF appropriately. But then things got crazy. Joe Hills racking in three kills from his bees, taking down Impulse and Corrales twice. So Joe Hills gets three more keys. This system is definitely paying off for him. And then the next day, Ethos Beast takes that. I'm noticing a pattern here with Corrales. He likes uh he likes donating his bits to these named beasts. This is great. Corrales is just dying over and over, but he loves the game. Anyways, Etho gets two more keys as well. So I gotta get three keys for Joe and two for Etho. So here's Joe's board here. I see he's got the uh, inset unique. They're very nice. So we're gonna give him uh three uh, keys there, and then over here at Etho, he look, oh he's getting a lot of bake set already. Look, he's got snowman. He's got all the new stuff already. This is this guy, and then uh, and then two for uh, for Etho, and then that's his bid that for the uh, auction that he lost and got back. So, keys the, the pet system is working good. Everybody, get your pets in there. Come on! It is now everybody's favorite time of day where I get to go in and relocate some ravagers to a more optimal position and hope I don't die. Hi, hi. <laughs> I hope no one's around. Everybody good? Everybody good? Okay, there's one over here by the door. And uh, I need to bring him back over to the keep. Hi, friend. Hi. Hi. Yeah, this way. Hi. Hi. Tasty treats. Come get your nuggies. Whoop. Okay, there he is. There he is. Who? He's still chasing? No, you lost interest. I'm over here. Hi. No, no, no. Come on. I'm over here. Scrum delicious tango. Get him while he's on. Oh, you're just a jerk. Look at you right there. No, come on. Oh, oh here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. 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 And <laughs> that never gets easy. The dungeon master. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Hello. What do I owe this pleasure? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Uh, I'm doing particularly well, actually, today, because I got a, uh, oh, a challenge what's, quest. What you got in your there. hand there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says... You did it! Congrats, yeah. You should, dude, the run? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I want to hear about it. How, did you, how was it? Like, how was clank levels? How many ravagers did you to see? How did, I wish I could have watched it. It was... The, the the most stress I've ever had in the game. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was very stressful. There were skeletons. There were zombies. There was Ooh. ravagers. It, the, I had to go over the lava thing twice. It was it was yep. crazy. Yeah. It was insane. Oh, it was wow. Insane. Well, well done. Well done. That has been attempted three times and failed three times. Ooh. And I haven't <laughs> I haven't moved the compasses. So that was your first time. First time doing it, right? Yes, that was the first time. That was the first time. Oh. I think I hand this. I'll hand this off to you. Yep, yeah. Right hold there. on, I got. I got a test for authenticity. Yeah, okay. Verify, complete. Yep. yep. Done. Okay. Seems off. legit. Okay. Original by Tango. All right. Hey, look, you're not doing too bad here. Look at you. Yeah. First place guy. 
Yep, yep, doing doing okay. Doing, doing okay. quite okay. Look at you tied with Etho, and Etho, Etho's a beast, so you should be proud. Yeah, yeah, Etho, I think Etho is going to be a tough guy to, to he pass, is. so he's, he is. he's pretty good. So let me, we haven't really talked since you started. Let me, what, what kind of strategy are you going with? Like, what's, what's your deck looking like right now? Oh, my deck? Well, honestly, I'm I'm at negative one uniques right now. I, I, I heard unique. your deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I may have sold sold my soul to Joe, but um, I mean, okay. I got some good items. I got a couple rares now from a what's, couple runs I what did. What kind of cards are oh. you running with, though? Like, what's your strategy in your in your deck? Oh, today I got a I got a stealth three card for the first time, so that's gonna help a lot. From Punch and Flames? Uh no, from trading in books actually. Oh, right okay, now. even even better, even better. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you're going stealth heavy? I'm going stealth heavy. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't want, I want the Ravagers to see me. I, I don't think want the Evokers to come out. I think so. I think okay, so, so I, I got a I got a prize ready for this massive accomplishment you've done today. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I, I think you're gonna like it. All right. Yep. Yep. I, I, you see your board over here, right? Yep, I see it. I okay. See it. Your okay. prize. Oh snap! Uh huh. Two more, uh -huh. Two more slots. Hold on, we're not oh. done yet. Oh, oh, there you oh, go. Some keys. A little something, something there to sweeten the pot. Oh, man. That's awesome. So there you go. That's you awesome. have a distinct advantage now. Two more slots to store artifacts. So you can hold up to 14 artifacts now Ooh, before you have baby. to trade them in. A custom rule for you. Oh, man. I like it. I, I think like I think it. that's gonna. I'm curious. I want some feedback on how that turns out. If that's gonna be a huge advantage, I think it. I think it'll help you quite a bit. But I, that's why I threw in the extra keys as well, just to make sure. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's great. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Does, I, dude, does I it look cool? <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Was it was this playing the whole time? Because there, there's 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 crying obsidian behind here. Uh, no, but... I was waiting for you to get here, and I kind of made a little bit of a behind the scenes alterations ready to oh, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. No, right, no, right. yeah, I was waiting for you. I just took care of that. Fantastic, dude. This that's, well, right. that's absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little bit of a debris donation here. Oh, look at this guy! Oh. Look at this guy bribing the judges. Keep, I like keep it. Keep it fair. Keep it fair. Whoa, you know? 19! <laughs> wow, wow, wow! That's not a small donation. All right. More lodestones right. in the dungeon. Good luck, man. Good luck. Thanks, man.